Hello again, everybody. We're back out to scale modeling. Today we are going to look at Ming's F-35A Lightning II Fighter Royal Netherlands Air Force kit. Product for users above 14, 148 scale. Complete weapons bay and air inlets. Very store options. Accurate exterior. Lots of surface details. AK Interactive color callouts. There's your scheme. I love that 70 anniversary tail marking scheme officially Lockheed Martin so it should be accurate there's something about the Royal Netherlands Air Force right there and some kit info kit number oh I don't know guess it doesn't have a kit number it does LS 011 LS meaning whatever reptile that is in Ming world again had been opened had been looked at had been touched fresh from the hobby distributor to you I have been having so many boxes with problems lately. It's like they glue one corner shut. All right, we've got fuselage one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, twelve clear parts, decals, color callouts, and instructions. Let us begin with the fuselage that has everybody talking. Oh, they're pulling a cameo on me and using staples. How rude. All right. Let's just start right here. Everybody says these are too high and out of proportion. I don't know. I do know on the coloring they're not as pronounced on the painting now. They're not as pronounced as they were when it first came out. And there are no decals to decal over them like there used to be. And look, it comes with a little hook on the end. Sorry. So, I'm not an expert. I do like how that's all sharp and pointy. Are they too pronounced? Are they just right? Does it matter to you if it looks like an F-35 when it's done? This kit, 2017 marking. This is not a new tooling, but a new boxing. Again, a little hook on the front. So, I guess... That nib is going to need to be removed. It's up to y'all if you think those are too pronounced or not. I mean, they do have fine detailing in there. And on the other side as well, fine detailing. You see the weapons bays are going to be posable. So it's got wonderful detail inside those where the ram tape would go. But is it too high? Having never been up next to one, I don't know. You tell me. Does it matter? Again, you tell me. I think it looks like an F-35. So I'm okay. Somebody sealed there on their, failed on their heat shrink responsibilities. So you got your intakes, full trunking intakes, your fans, your fan, uh, weapons pylons in two halves. If you're going to, let's see, this is the inside, this is the inside. So up here in the front, the intake, there are no ejector pin marks. And on this side, there are no ejector pin marks, and you're, you know, you look down them, you might see this one. And we 
which means you might see this one, but you won't see those two. And there's none here, so you may need to clean up this one and this one if you think you'll see it. And you might. And good detail on those weapons pylons. And nice how they molded those intakes. And then they're going to attach with these big attachment points to the side of the fuselage. And here we have detailed for the weapons base a nozzle and more staples. Why, oh why? Some piping, a very nice detail for the weapons bays. It really looks like fuse boxes. Don't know if they'd have fuse boxes considering it's 21st century technology, but I do not know. There's detail inside the exhaust pipe. One of the fans. And there's all that nice detail inside the weapons base. And then your exhaust nozzle. Very sharp detail. To help with radar. Um, radar stealth capabilities. That's the word I'm looking for. Wings. Staples. I hate this. I'm leaving the staples there. I'm cutting off the other end. Because it's mine and I can do that. Alright. Nice excess hedge detail there. And it's, it's not raised. So there you go. That surface detail looks really nice. And your wings are looking good. They're notched together very well. Looks like you've got control surface detail or control posable control surfaces. This one doesn't have staples. Someone's just messing with me. Someone said, Brett's going to get this kit. Let's mess with him. Uh, excuse me while a cat walks over my shoulder. All right, you got your tails. Again, very nice crisp detail that doesn't seem too badly raised either. Some of the little bits and parts and parts and pieces and pieces and parts. And you may want to sand, you definitely want to sand down the ease. That's, that's some flash on the edge. Well, I just clean that right off. So check all your ejector pin mark points. Your tails, you just got these little parts going in there to attach to the fuselage. And your wing tips. And here, fuselage tub with more stapled bags, doors to your weapons bay, doors to your landing gear bay, ejector seats. Like I said, I'm not messing with the staples. I won't let them win. I've always enjoyed how Meng makes it nice and easy to see the sprue, what sprue it is. So instrument panel, rudder pedals, size of your ejector seat, ejector seat, frame going around for your canopy, cockpit tub, inside of your doors have no ejector pins, thankfully. So, instrument panel would have screens, there's the, side, the main part of your seat, your ejector seat sides, window frame, Outsides of the doors, insides of the doors, inside the cockpit tub. All looking good. 
next? We have another stapled bag. See, no rhyme or reason. Stapled, not stapled. Front landing gear bay doors. Um, I think these are insides of the doors. The landing gear. There is not weight on wheels. Oleos. So, this side's got wiring detail. And this side's got some wiring detail. It's all crisp, clean, no flash. There is... No visible burring on the landing gear legs, on the struts. I got another cat hanging out here, trying to decide where to go. While you look at this, I'm going to help her decide. There we go. They have a high perch behind me and they have to use my chair to get to it. And then using my chair, they never tell me they're coming. They just jump on it. Whether I'm painting, gluing, cutting, filming, they don't care. The cats. All right. Some more doors. I'm thinking these are in the closed and these are in the open position. Front landing gear leg. Front wheel, which is solid, one piece. Front landing gear bay, which has no ejector pin marks on, thankfully. So these are the doors for the front landing gear. Open and close, it looks like. This is one aircraft that would look better in flight than on the ground, I think. Nice detail throughout. No ejector pin marks on the inside of the doors, not that it would matter on this one. And what we got here, we have some weapons. We've got some sparrows. Didn't that box say, oh, there's some more. No, it's not. Yes, it is. more staples. So, one piece, nicely molded Sparrow Missiles. Two of those. Here, and they use big fat staples. Tanya's got those little wimpy staples. These are like huge. These Look to me to be pylons. Two of those. Ah. These. Oh, look at that big fat staple in there. They're using like industrial grade staples. These are matching. They're so industrial, they rip through the plastic without opening the bag. Uh, not sure what these are, but the instructions will tell me. Well, they do look nice. When you guys smarter than me, will be able to tell me what they were. But by then, I've already read the instructions. And we've got a nice canopy. Seems like it's got a slight tint to it. I really hate staple bags on canopies. Ooh, it's covered in plastic, thankfully. Can we get that off without messing it up? It does look like to have a little bit of a tint to it. But it's beautiful. Beautiful. We are going to not mess with that. Not only are we not going to mess with that, we're going to take that staple right away. Bad staple. Wish I had a Tammy thing here so I could compare staples. Okay. Staples on the decals too. Come on guys. I'm starting to whine like some of those other guys who do reviews. Okay. One sheet of decals. I love those tail markings. 
like these are made by Mang. Not too gloss, not too flat, cut really well. I like those decals. I like that scheme. Oh look, a little photo etch. Compressor fan blade, seat harness, something else. Okay, color call out. You see how the raised areas are no longer as highlighted as they were before. So there are your weapons colors. There is your aircraft color, which doesn't tell me what color, and where your decal placements are. Maybe these instructions will tell me the color. Agua. So, a little bit about the aircraft in many languages. Pick your language, pause it. Your warnings read carefully before assembly. Your ejector seat, put it together, paint it. Put the harness on. Seat going in. Front wheel bay. Uh, instrument panel. Doesn't have a decal for it, but I guess the screens will be all black when it's on the ground. So your GBU 53s, that's what those are GBU 53s for your weapons bay. So you get your sparrows for your outer weapons bay. Or your wingtips, not sure which. Guess we'll find out. There's your sparrows, there's your hosing and stuff for your main weapon bay, your GBUs going in. I'd paint that before I put those in, of course. There is your intakes. And your first stage compressor. And then you're putting in your main wheels. Just confused myself. These are the main wheel bays, not your front wheel bay. This is your front wheel bay. So you get your all your wheel bays. It's going to assemble and then have to put on before you put the halves together. See there you go. Port side weapons bay and your wheel well. And your other wheel well. And your cockpit. And then the top parts going on the fuselage, going down, connecting the fuselage halves, pylons, that must be where your sparrows are going to go, install this if there are underwing stores, so don't install them and don't drill the holes if you're not going to put your underwing stores on, which I wouldn't do, because it looks like you've got rails for your sparrows on the side here. Which are these here, which you will need to drill holes here. There goes your tail sections going on. You can have your weapon bays opened or closed. Actually, these aren't your weapon bay doors, these are your landing gear bay doors. Now, there are probably also your weapons bay doors. Yes, these are your weapons bay doors, these are your landing gear bay doors going in the closed position. These are them going in the open position. Right there. The hinges and everything you need to put on. To have them open. There they are. Closed, open. rest of them going on, there, your sparrows go in the weapons bay too. There you go. You don't need the underwing stores at all. Unless you want to increase your radar signature, you don't need those pylons. And since you didn't get that many weapons, you'd have to buy the individual main weapon set. 
canopy open or closed, which either hinged or not hinged, depending on your mood. And there's your sprue mat. And there is your color call out. AK and accretion paints, depending on which one you want to use. There we have it. Meng's F35A. Are these things raised too high? I don't know. Do you think they are? Do you think they're not? You gonna build it? I'm gonna build it the way it is, be happy with it. And it'll sit nicely. Actually, I like this one in flight, so it'll sit nicely with the weapons bays open, hanging. Or acrylic rod out the back on a stand in flight. I'll just need to get a pilot. So thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful, enjoyable. I hope you're building a model, sitting your ass in the chair and building something nice. I want to see some nice builds. Thanks for watching.